Well, a big day in the small town of Plains, Georgia today, about an hour south of Columbus with the former First Lady Rosalind Carter laid to rest at Maranatha Baptist Church. Her husband, former President Jimmy Carter, there for the funeral service for his wife of 77 years. News at Nine's Jason Dennis was there and has more on today's services. The celebration of life for former First Lady Rosalind Carter happening Wednesday lunchtime here at Maranatha Baptist Church, a significant place here in the small town of Plains because it's where former President Jimmy Carter and his wife of 77 years, Rosalind, where they worshiped, where they taught Sunday school for, for many decades. And one of the most uh, moving moments uh, in, on this Wednesday was seeing Rosalind Carter's casket come out of the church with her husband, Jimmy Carter, right behind in a wheelchair, leading that family processional uh, Inside in the private funeral, there were scripture readings and tributes by some of their grandchildren, music including from the former First Lady's alma mater, Georgia Southwestern State University's choir, and an inspiring eulogy from the church's pastor, Tony Loudon. He told the family and friends, Rosalind would have said, don't grieve for me, I've won the prize. Jimmy tried to beat me here, but I got here first, getting a few chuckles from the crowd. We talked to a couple in their 90s, friends of the Carters who were in the service, along with Joanna Maddox, who was asked to sing the Lord's Prayer in this service, a tribute to a woman she loved. I just hoped that, you know, her spirit, that she would, that she would be pleased, and somewhere she's smiling down on me. Oh, it was wonderful. It was it was wonderful to hear. The describe, grandchildren did a great her. job. They did. They did a great job. And this is the third and final day of services for Rosalind Carter. Again, Jimmy Carter making some rare appearances the last couple of days. Church members here at Maranatha Baptist say uh, they're supporting Mr. Jimmy and grieving for Miss Rosalind. They didn't refer to him as, as President Carter or First Lady. Uh, they knew them personally. And uh, now uh, she will be interred at the Carter family home and uh, be buried uh, eventually next to where Jimmy Carter will be buried as well. He's 99 years old and in hospice. And one one of the uh, scriptures read today in this service at Maranatha Baptist is Ephesians 4:32, "Be kind to one another," and that was certainly uh, what they call a virtuous woman. Rosalind Carter did; she led with kindness. They say throughout her life, throughout the world, and uh, many people showing love for her today in their hometown of Plains. Reporting here, I'm Jason Dennis for WTVM News Letter Nine. All right, Jason, thank you. Coming up here on the news at 11, an Israeli-American woman.